Yola, welcome back to more Let's Play Dragon Quest XI Blind. Uh, last time we were paid a visit from Captain Clutch. Oh my god, please. I went this whole game without doing it. Oh, it's when you hit the D-pad. Jeepers. Oh man, I was about to say I went the whole game without accidentally doing it. And then I like started the episode by doing it like twice in a row. I was like, what the heck? Okay, so we got a uh, foresty area. Oh, yeah, I remember those guys. Uh, let's go to the dead end first. Oh, man, maybe I should have gone to the mini metal guy one last time to see if, uh, if there was something he was going to give us. Just in case we are headed towards the end of the game. But... Oh well, I mean, like I said, if I get outgunned, we can always run back. I'm guessing we'll be able to uh, zoom to this first forest place. Man, Saint's Ashes. Have I, like, like, what do you use those for? Have I come across, like, anything that uses them? They're like these silk blossoms. Or the glimmer uh, grass. Or the fairy fluff. There's like tons of stuff, but I haven't been using very much of it. Like not very much of it is used in like stuff that's like better for my guys, you know? Oh god dang it, did I just... Oh god damn it. Oh, was I not paying attention? Did I check the the bottom area of that uh, branched off path? I think I did. Oh man, that falcon sword is nice. Yeah, this uh, this uh, this like dual wield thing that Eric got is actually like not that good. You can see the amount of damage that he does with the offhand is like super like wimpy. Uh, boom it up. I don't know. Whatever. You know, a few episodes ago, I was like. I was like, I came across uh, some enemies that seem to be weak to Boom. Maybe Boom is just really strong in this game. Because it's doing a lot of damage to, like, a lot of enemies. Oh, no, I missed with the thing that does, like, two damage. Veronica wins again! A lamb's wool. Huh. Yeah, did I go up here and then check the the uh, the bottom part? Okay, yes, I did. Okay, onward. I wonder if it's always dark or if it's just like nighttime. This could be like a dark forest. All right, so just run and avoid all the guys. You know, I haven't had to grind that much in this game. So I wonder if that means that if you play in 2D mode where you have to do all the random fights, does that mean that your character is going to be like over leveled? Since you're like since you like have to do all the fights. I mean, you can run from them, but you know what I mean, right? Oh, I was about to say what is this? I mean, you could run from the fights, but you can just, like, run past the encounter to begin with. I would be something. I didn't see what that said. Oh, god damn it. Oh, you see how far away that guy was? That fight shouldn't have activated. Uh, Fruity Sucky Bats. Oh, you know, I'm tempted to swap out Eric with Jade. Yeah, that boom spell is really strong. For how, um, I mean, it's 12, it's not cheap. Easy. But you're definitely getting your money's worth. Uh, in terms of damage, you know. Actually, you know what, let's do that now. Oops. Alright, actually, you know what, I want BZ by my side. 
Um, oh, and let's, uh, let's use, um, Jade's point. She has 34. Okay, well, I'm close to getting this. I mean, we're already invested, so we gotta see what it is, you know? Oh, and this is secret panel, too. My god, it's 10? Man, this one better be worth it, man. It's probably not gonna be worth it. They hardly have ever been worth it. Sexy beam. Powerfully powerfully uh, seductive onslaught that can sometimes beguile an enemy. I mean, maybe it just does damage. Uh, do I want to learn it, or I can uh, work towards un... like, un... Uh, revealing, rather. Just say unveiling? Uh, revealing is the word. Jeez. Oh, this is claws. I'm not using claws, though. I can absorb... Uh, 10 uh, HP or whatever. Or 10% HP. She's not using claws, right? What has she been using? What the hell does she have equipped, like, right now? Got a glaive. Okay. Wait, that's still the default weapon. There's no way we're done with the game after this. Dude, homeboy still had the thief's turban that he, like, started with. And I still don't have a weapon that's, like, better than the starting weapon that Jade started with. I know I said start too many times, but you know what I mean, right? Yeah, there has to be more game after this. Um, I mean, this is only three. It does extra damage to beasts. Uh, 10 HP for 7. Yeah, a lot of these skills, the only reason you would want it is to, uh, is to reveal, like, the hidden one or the secret panel or whatever. Oh, should I get it so I can, uh, see what this is? Well, I mean, this is more attack power. And it's only 4. Doesn't hit often, but when it does, it's a critical hit. Okay, well, I mean, is there any reason to ever use that? Like, the whole hardly ever hit thing is typically, like, not considered to be, like, good, right? Increases the chance of getting pepped up plus 5%. No! Super mega ultra not worth it. Oh, god damn it. All right. Oh my god, dude, that was so not worth it. Ethereal stone. All right. Oh wait, let me make sure Jade has uh, strong medicines. Uh, she does. Okay. Veronica. Rab does not, but he's uh, he's Mr. Heal Magic, so he's good. Man, I don't know, man. I can't, like, I have, like, evidence, like, both ways that we're going to be done with the game soon, and also we're not going to be done with the game soon. Plus, yeah, so I don't know if this whole Yggdrasil situation is going to be it. What? Like, why are we even, like, going this way? Why are we coming all this way to meet Yggdrasil? Is, is it like, are we going to meet Yggdrasil and then it's going to tell us what our ultimate goal is? Oh man, this forest would be nicer if it wasn't so, like, dark out. I mean, it might just still be nighttime, but man. Things sure do light, like, look better in the daytime, in my opinion. Like, I would rather look at a daytime forest than a nighttime forest, you know? Okay, so I went underneath into that, like, KB area, so I technically haven't been over here. Aha. 
Another enchanted stone. Hmm. All right. Uh, okay, well, I guess it's pop a save. I don't think I don't think I saved at that first campfire. Oh wait, or is this the first campfire? Yeah, I don't know, like, would they make this game, like, shorter than Dragon Quest VIII? Dragon Quest VIII, my first, like, with that game, my first playthrough was 120 hours. And we're still in the 70s. So it's like, would they really make a game, like, that's, like, a higher entry number or whatever? Like, would they make a game that's, like, shorter than a previous entry by, like, dozens of hours, you know? Man, we got a bunch of cool, uh, like, plant life. Oh, excuse me. Got some cool glowy things. Kind of looks like uh, some of the areas in, like, Subnautica. Except that's, like, underwater, obviously. I guess, I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's not obvious. Sub uh, Subnautica is, uh, is, like, a mostly underwater game. For those of you that don't know. I don't know. I think it's pretty fun. That game does a good job, um... Like, getting you used to being, like, underwater. Like, I have that fear of underwaterness that a lot of people have. Uh, I was still nervous to this day. Or not to this day, but... Uh, as an adult, when I played a boy in his blob. When you go to that, like, underwater cave area. I think the fact that it's underwater and in a cave... Makes it, like, scarier. And plus, if your bubble, like, touches anything... The bubble, like, pops. And you, like, uh... You, like, instantly drown or whatever. It's like an instant death or whatever. So the fact that you're like so far like underground made it like scarier and you were like so like vulnerable. Just in a bubble, you know. Oh man, hidden chase. Hmm. God damn it, Rab. There, God buddy. damn it, Rab. Oh, is this the front? Oh, okay. Another one of these splatter thingies of molten globules or whatever it said. You know what, let's fight one of these guys. These guys are cool looking. Infanticore? Oh man, he's a big boy. Uh, flame slash? Oh, I could try the uh, B slash thing that I just got. I mean, I don't know if it's worth using Sap, but he is big. And he's a regular enemy, so Sap would probably work. I mean, I'm assuming it's a beast. Yeah, I think that was a beast. Oh man, Raps attacked at 42? Jeez. I mean, it's only two. Alright, you did. You're done, you're done, son. Get the F well, out of here. That was easy. My god, it wasn't worth it. Well, that wasn't very much experience. And I know that wasn't that hard, hard of a fight, but it's like, you would think that, like, that the enemies would be, like, giving more. Um, okay, so we're going around this way, I guess, right? But anyway, uh, Subnautica does a good job, like, gently, like, introducing you to, like, to, like, uh, to, like, being underwater. So you sort, like, it's sort of, like, slowly gets you like comfortable with it by the time so like by the time you get to the end of the game you're like completely like fearless about uh, about like being underwater you know like uh like like at the start of the game the first like zone or whatever the first like area uh it's like a shallow like well lit area so you can like see like well and then it like slowly introduces you like little little caves it's like baby steps Oh my god, a liquid metal slime! God damn it! Of course he ran away right away. Oh, I should have used uh, the dragon slash thing that I have.
Uh, let's try this one. Be nice if I could stop him in his tracks. Uh, nope. It does do some damage as like a consolation prize at the very least. Alright, get out of here, dude. Well, that was easy. All right, on your feet, soldier. Uh, so is the altar right here? I'm assuming it's not. We gotta probably go in from the... Yeah, that arrow is like misleading. Okay, so we should, we should have like another like cave entrance looking area. Or am I on top of it? Oh, I can just go like this, okay. Oh, so we're going, like, through it or whatever. Oh, so are we on top of it? Whoa, there's, like, stuff uh, in the air. That's cool. Okay, well, let me just take a look uh, along this outside area. No chesticles, doesn't look like. Oops. All right. I guess we got cutscene. Oh. 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 Oh, oh, this trudging up hills is playing havoc with my old bones. Oh, well, don't tire yourself out, darling. We all want to be bright-eyed and bushy-tailed for our big day. Come on, let's call it a night, huh? I mean, or Jade could just give him a puff puff. Oh. Sure, that'd perk him right up. So, we'll finally be going up to Yggdrasil tomorrow. I can't help feeling a little nervous. Is, like, the real Darkspawn gonna be, like, up there waiting for us? Like, oh, you brought me the orbs. I'll just take them all. That's, like, a thing that happens sometimes. Serena, why don't you play that song? You know, the one you always used to play when we were children. Hmm. <laughs> No, we actually haven't he uh, gotten a chance to hear Veronica's, like, normal voice. She always has, like, a sassy, like, or aggressive tone. You don't get to hear her, like, speak in, like, a normal calm voice very often. Ah, damn, look at them milkers. Yggdrasil looks so magical at night. It's strange to think that each of our lives is a leaf on one of those branches. And your titties get their own leaf. <laughs> Yeah, and it's really like the old man said. There's some kind of heart in there that all life comes from. Yes, when someone dies, their leaf withers and falls, and their soul returns to the heart. When someone is born, a new bud blooms on one of the branches. Hmm. I suppose it won't be long now until we finally face Mordigan. Do you think if we can beat him? My yeah, see, they're hinting that we're getting close, walls. but that could be a that could be a misdirect. I'm not fully convinced oh. yet. You play an instrument too, Veronica? Uh, no, that's yeah. what I use to keep myself entertained at band camp. Mm -hmm. I never actually learned how to play no. it. I just joined band, so I'd have plausible deniability. He said it would help us. It belonged to our ancestor, Serenica. She left it behind in Arborea, apparently. Well, I don't know about the rest of you, but I'm pooped. What do you say we all get some beauty sleep? Veronica? Hmm? We were born at the same time, so our leaves bloomed at the same time, didn't they? Do you think they'll fall? Why would they do that? Too. Unless you died at the same time. Hmm, I don't know. You've always been a bit slow, to be honest. Wow. <laughs> that was kind of funny. But I hope they do. <laughs> you know, I thought there was going to be some sort of chapter where it was either going to explain how Veronica wound up in a child body, 
or we were gonna complete some kind of quest and then she was gonna get back her like adult body. Okay. Let's drop that hot, hot, sexy, delicious save. Speaking of which, it is like freaking hot. It's like June. And yeah, you would think that Wisconsin would be like not super mega hot. But it's only June. It's already hot as nuts, man. It's so hot, it's nuts. Alright, should I fight another one of these dragons and see if I can kill one of those liquid metal slimes? He ran away before I even got, like, a turn. Oops, I meant to... I was... I thought I was swinging the sword. It didn't work. All right. Oh, yes, blue dragon. I think I told the story about what happened with that. But I guess since we have a blue dragon, I'll tell it again. Uh, basically... I really like that RPG. It was an RPG on the 360, and um, I got to like the end of the game, and man, this is like a lot of years ago, so I might be fuzzy on the details. I got to like the end of the game, and then I had to go like a super long time without, like the end area was like super like mazy, I think. And I fought this boss that was like super hard, but I finally squeaked out a victory. And then I went to run back to the save point. But I think I like I got like spun around with the camera or whatever, so I accidentally ran forward and it triggered another boss fight. And I got like super duper like killed. They did the thing where like in what like in one turn he killed like like I think like three of your guys. I think he had parties of five. So in like one attack he killed like multiple of my guys. It was at least two, I think it might have been three. On like the very first like attack or whatever. So then I was going to have to do that other boss fight, like, all over again. Oh, I have to... I'm dumb. Okay, jeez. Just pay attention, dude. Jeez. Just got to loop, uh, loop around. So, I don't know if I was having a bad day or what the dealio was. And it's uncharacteristic of me to, uh, to rage that hard. Normally, what you do is you just, like, level up, then you come back and you do it again. So even when you lose in an RPG, it's usually not that big a deal. If you're, like, not strong enough, you just go get stronger... And then you come back, and then you win. But for some reason, on that particular day, for some reason, I was so mad that that happened that I immediately deleted my save file, uninstalled the game. So I immediately just, like, went from being at the end of the game to having, like, no data. Like, I don't think I've ever rage deleted, all like, all my data on a game ever. And I don't think that game wasn't even frustrating, like in general, like up to that point. So I don't know, well, like what happened. No mistaking it. I just like had a this moment. This is the altar. <laughs> Aye, you're not wrong there. Go on, laddie, get the orbs out. Let's see what happens, shall we? I should check to see if it's on Steam. Maybe if, I'm, maybe if it's on Steam, I'll uh, I'll like download it. I guess I still have it on the 360. My 360 isn't hooked up though. But I guess there's no rule saying that I couldn't. You know, I don't. I I haven't streamed any 360 games on this channel so far. So I just kind of like naturally have it in my head to like check Steam. That way I don't have to like hook another console, you know? Because you can only have like one console like hooked up at a time. So I'm I'm so freaking lazy that for me to even hook up another console, like I'll have to like unhook the Switch. And then hook the 360 up. I guess it's like it like when you say it, it sounds like such a such a small, easy thing. But because I'm like so lazy, anything that like causes like extra time or effort to be used to do something, then that's like resistance. It's like friction. Like I have a hard time doing it. A bridge made of rainbows. It's beautiful. Looks like it's finally time for a date with destiny. Come on. Oh man, we yeah, we only kept her kept it waiting a couple of years. Hmm. But I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm telling you, man, it would be so cliche if dude was just like at the top waiting for us. 
Also, we never figured out how to uh, read that book that was in that well. There was like that. There was like that underground area. Ooh, superior medicine. See, that's like the first one of those we've gotten. Is that a full heal? If that's not a full heal, then I'm gonna be even more suspicious. God, where the hell is it? Do I already have one? Otherwise, wouldn't it just be on like your last page? I don't think I've gotten one before yet. Uh, did it go in like someone's inventory that has like space? My god, where is it? Yeah, I think like locating items is something that's like like I, like what could they do to make it easier? Well, they can make it so that the most recent thing you grabbed appears on your last page. That would be like the obvious thing. But then again, it's like maybe I already have one. Oh, I did. I okay. I had one other one. I have no idea where I got that other one. Okay, so that's only 70. That's not that much stronger than the strong medicine. So we have like one more level of healing herb type item. So the fact that we're just now seeing the next level of healing herb item makes me think that there's more game like past this point or whatever. Also, I just ran right past the thing. Oh, it's right here. Might be able to use this well to go back down to the first forest. If I go down, can I go back? This is the equivalent of like... Wondering if a game has like fall damage. And then you just like jump off a cliff. And then you're like surprised if you die. Okay, so there is a vine. I can climb back up. I kind of want to see where this leads though. Oh, it might be uh, like a door that I unlock from the other side. Wait, can I go in this water? No. Is that a sparkly? It's just a sparkle. Alright. Now look at all the detail on these graphics. Like these graphics are like really, really good. Or like the art style is like is like really cool, I think. Oh, I thought I already I already went down to the first forest. But I guess we'll go all the way down to it. And please just let this be a shortcut. Oh, it just takes me here. I thought it was going to take me like all the way back to like the start of this area. Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright, never mind. I have the power! I don't know. Apparently, I liked T-Man when I was a little kid, but I have, like, no memory of it. I do have a picture of me as a little a little dump of a kid playing with the Castle Grayskull or whatever. And I had the, um, I had the bandana on, the one that the guy had in uh, Karate Kid. Apparently, I, like, I don't remember watching that movie, but, but apparently I must have liked the movie enough. I actually don't know if that was a real bandana or if my dad just like drew drew the picture on it, drew the design on it on just a regular bandana and gave it to me. I actually don't remember. But there like there are pictures of me wearing it. But I don't remember the movie at all and I, and I don't remember uh watching like He-Man or having I don't remember like playing with any of the uh the uh, like action figures or whatever. Um, okay, we got branching paths. Oh, get it, get it. Oh man, look how- Oh, I thought that was a secret hidden chest in the brush or whatever, or the leafiness or whatever. But it was just Veronica. <laughs> okay, well, I kind of want to see what that other item that I got was. But I'm like scared now. What if I can't find it? Actually, if I haven't gotten another one, it should be on the last page. Yeah, this thing. 
Oh, and I've never gotten one of these either. Oh man, this is an elixir type item. Uh, heals paralysis and restores 90. That's kind of like a cool thing, how it's like a moon, but it's like a thick, meaty looking moon. All right, into the green light, I guess. Uh, so that's the heart. I thought it'd be like bigger. It looked bigger from uh, from the outside. So, like I said, like why did we even like why did we even like make this entire journey to meet you, Jusol? So this is the heart of Yggdrasil. It's bigger than I thought it would be. It's the source of all life. It's not oh, exactly so they think it be should have been bigger. Now, is it? <laughs> or they thought it was. They thought it was going so to be. It's bigger. Or they. Oh god, dang! You know what I mean, I'm right? Sort of scared, they just thought the opposite of what I said. I want to touch it. Uh oh, well, it was nice knowing you. I have a feeling. That that's not to be touched by human hands. Ah. Ow! Well, that's not very nice. What and the hell do you think would happen, dude? I am so it should. I doubt the world tree would let any but the one who bears her mark near her holiest of holies. After all. Only he can wield the weapon destined to dispel the darkness. Is this the, the first reference to it, or did they reference it like a thousand episodes ago? No, laddie. It's Back in the episodes I did years ago. the heart of Yggdrasil and claim your birthright. Only you can Oh, so we did the orb quest to get the sword. Only you can save And then once we world. have the sword, now we have to go out and save the world. So we've already been everywhere on the map, which leads me to believe that something is going to happen to change the world. I don't know if we're going to get like an underground world or some sort of like alternate dimension or something. Or if we're going to get like a world of ruin type situation. But like I said, several of the games have have it where you have like two world maps essentially. And if there's going to be more game, oh, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. If there's going to be more game, then we're gonna need more world to explore, you know? <laughs> Damn you, Jasper. How did you find us? Find you? <laughs> Did you witless vermin not realize I was following you all along? I don't think it's gonna be that easy. He's got like magic powers now. <laughs> the power of the dark spawn. Now, now, princess, such boorish behavior hardly befits one of your station. Do you not see that you are utterly powerless to stop So I'm me? assuming he's not going to be able to take the sword, right? Or is he going to somehow take it? <laughs> Can't move! <sighs> Tremble before me. Tremble with gratitude. Your sacrifice shall pave the way for my ascent to glory. Come, Luminary, all of you, on your feet. The Tree of Life shall be your place of death. So is that like an evil orb? Or is it just like a ball of energy he has, no, like the, like the dudes in Dragon Ball Super? Concentrate. What, like, what do they call that? I forget. I'm drawing a blank on what they, 
what they call that sort of like energy that they can harness. It kind of looks like that. It comes in like like a ball or whatever. Uh, okay, so we have a boss fight apparently. Uh, okay, so I guess let's uh, fight him, right? Um, should I do this? How long does this last? I wonder. Um. Okay, don't use that. Unbalancing blow, that's not going to work on a boss. Effective against flying enemies, that's no good. Stop them in their tracks, that's no good. Uh, puff Puff won't work. It is free, though. I don't think I ever noticed that. Um, I mean, that maybe does more than a regular attack. Oh, I have to break the dark barrier? Uh, okay, how? Um... Oh man, I don't know. Oh man, Xaml? New spell. I haven't seen that one yet. Uh, does magic work on it? This might be scripted. Also, how come Thomas is not getting another turn? I just defend? He actually hasn't attacked me either, so this might be scripted. Okay, so I don't have the Sword of Light, so how am I supposed to, like, uh, destroy his thing? Maybe we just have to do a few turns, and then we'll get some dialogue. man yep so they're gonna do like the usually they do this like at the start of a of like a game of an rpg you know can't get through that where they're like oh you're not you you're no match for the guy and then like what is it you go through the game you get stronger then you find some way to either get you either just level up it's a power or you like get some kind of thing that makes you like strong enough to beat him could he be so they're pretty they're or they're doing it pretty late in the game actually so there's probably, this is like more evidence that there's going to be way more game because there's going to be like, like, um, like a leg of the game where we have to like somehow find a way to like defeat this like supposedly, uh, like undefeatable guy or whatever. Is he just going to like force his hand inside? <laughs> so this is the heart of Yggdrasil. Whosoever controls it, controls the world. Or so they say. Not one step further, Jasper. Hmm? Uh-oh. Uh? Now you see it with your own eyes, sire. He is no longer himself. The this is going to be like an Emperor Gestalt situation. In its thrall. How long he has deceived us, I do not know. But deceive us, he has. Jasper is a traitor to Okay, well, don't fight him, dude. It's been nice knowing you, Hendrick. He might die in a cutscene. Which, for those of you that don't know, <laughs> uh, that's the old joke. When someone dies in a cutscene, they die, like, for Confess, real. Like, they're all the way dead, Just you know? Just how cheaply did you sell your soul? On second thought, spare me your wretched excuses. In the name and presence of his majesty, I pronounce you guilty. I don't know, Hendrick's pretty confident. Your punishment. So he he's gonna, like, attack him and probably <clears throat> beat all match and probably get killed. <clears throat> oh, shit, the double!
You have served me well. I feel like I've seen a guy with that face before somewhere. Your, your, your Majesty, what is the meaning of this? Well, now Hendrix like super mega dead now. Actually, I wonder if Jasper is gonna like refuse to give it to Hendrick, or give it to that guy. Oh, is that our first view of Morta? What's his face? Ortagon. My dear Jasper, it seems you have snared us a luminary. Well, if he's so strong, he could have done it himself, right? It is an honor to serve you. Why did he always. pause right there? Kind of makes it seem like he might be uh, looking to betray him at some point. Lord Mordigan. If he does, I have a feeling it might use. Uh, they might have uh, Jasper get killed by so Mordegon. This has a way to like put Mordegon over. Was, he was Mordegon all along. Hmm. Now, Luminary, you are in my power, and soon your power will belong to me. I mean, you could just like kill us. Because if you don't, we're going to come back and kill you at some point. So you might as well just, you know, kill us since we're all unconscious. It'd be, like, super easy to, like, ensure that there's no way that you could die. Oh, I was about to say, like, about to say, why would he, like, want that? But I guess, yeah, it's pretty obvious now that I think about it, Derp. So he was, like, super strong, and now he's got the super strong sword, too. So we're gonna need to kill a bunch of liquid metal slimes to be strong enough now. And this blade is the fabled sword of light. Not very fitting for the Lord of Shadows. So he destroyed the power of the luminary? Oh, now it's the sword of darkness instead of the Lord of uh, the sword of light. The sword of light! What has he done? Almighty Yggdrasil, source of all life! You know, I was thinking it, I didn't say it, but I was like, does that mean, because they said that like when someone dies of, of like how you get like reborn or whatever with the blooms or whatever, I was gonna say it like, if something happens to the heart, does that mean that when people die, they're not gonna, like they're not gonna like be reborn or whatever? Like their soul is gonna be like actually destroyed. It's not gonna be reborn into like another body. Boy, they're making a they're doing a good job making it look uh, like really hopeless dude you just feel a super toast man yeah that was a big one oh, well, I kind of don't want to save that was kind of shitty what just happened <laughs> I don't want to save all this like badness But, uh, yeah, so we didn't get the sword. Like, basically, everything that could go wrong, like, went wrong. Like, we lost the luminary power. We didn't get the sword. Instead, he got the sword. And he destroyed, uh, Yggdrasil. So now I'm sitting here going, like, what could possibly, like... Oh, man. We're dying a Final Fantasy VII death. So man, yeah, they did a really good job.
like making it hopeless to where now you're just like, okay, now how are we gonna come back from this? You know? <sighs> like I, I have like no idea. Like how could What's we possibly come back do? from this? Can you? <laughs> no, mum. Like, is there's like there's gonna have to be like some sort of like secret hidden item in the world or something? You're still upset about that'll like let me fight with like Gemma, be strong right? enough to defeat him. She started it. She hit me for no reason. All I did was draw eyebrows on Sandy. <laughs> Oi, don't laugh. Look at this great big lunch she's given me. I see it. And I saw the one on her head, too. Yeah, but she was being a little you bitch. She deserved that, it. Man, look how much bigger she is than me. Jesus. Now you She's like Gorlock levels of beastliness. Lad. There'll be plenty of times in your life when people upset you and you feel like lashing out. But no matter how much it hurts, and no matter how much you want to hurt them back, you don't go looking for revenge. You do what's right. I, I want to be friends with Jabber again, Mum. What should I do? Why, you talk to her, of course, you big silly. Ask her what she was feeling and why she did what she did. I don't know, why didn't she try to see things from my point of view? Once you've done that, the rest is easy. You just smile and hold out your hand. That's my boy. Now, time for bed. Night, night, Mum. Night, night, son. Don't you worry about a thing now. It'll all be all right in the morning. Good night. Sleep tight, child of Yggdrasil. The sun, it is sleeping, and the night is still. The stars, they watch over you with twinkling eyes to ward off the darkness till dawn arrives. Ah. Huh. Have you found him yet? Not yet, master. Our forces have scoured the four corners of the world, but the Luminary is nowhere to be found. He is dead, then. Oh, the classic mistake. Good. If that is the case, then this world is mine. Ah, huh, so I'm assuming that we're going to find out why that it showed that kid cutscene. Mordigan has played his hand. The game is all but won. A shroud of deepest darkness. Dude, the world is like ending. It's no time for your sun. stupid rhymes, lady. <laughs> and yet, amid the shadows, glimmer tiny specks of light. Faint, flickering flames that rage against the coming of the night. How can such sparks of hope remain? When darkness rules the land, now evil reigns supreme. Who has the strength to take a stand? I'm gonna need something. I'm gonna need some kind of like something to like buff me so I can be like strong enough to take him out. My god, is this, is this just the next like chapter? What happened? Where... where am I? 
Oh, is this going to be the actual... Are we actually going to get a World of Ruins situation? Oops. Where now the map is, like, different? I'm because, alive. like, Homeboy, like, took over and destroyed oh. Yggdrasil. How? And now the whole world is, like, changed and the map will be different. <clears throat> That'll be part two of the game. I don't know. The fact that it had that, uh... That, like, thing on the screen... What did it say? In Self. Search of Hope or A Search Self. for Hope or whatever? Made it seem like it's like a next like leg of the game or whatever, or like next chapter in the game. Oh, I didn't think this cutscene would be that long. We're like over on time. Oh, there you are. You right, Sylph? Hmm? Oh, oh, sure, Davy, honey. I was just you say Davi? a little air. It's Dave, right? <laughs> Being cooped up in that cabin was driving me crazy, you know. Oh, come on, Sylph. Cheer up, will ya? I don't think I can take much more of this moping. That day when Mordegon There was nothing I could do. He was just too powerful. I thought it was the end for me. So I'm assuming that they're going to say for how we all us. survived. But this, this is worse than death. To wake up and find oh everybody gosh. gone. And the it's, it's Final Fantasy VI. Darkness. I'm sorry, Dave, but I just, I can't do this. I know I should feel lucky to be alive, but but without the others... And Dave's like, what am I, chopped liver? Nobody. Right. That's enough of that. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Have you lost your bleeding marbles? Since when were them mates of yours the types to let some Lord of Shadows numpty get the better of them, eh? How about you have a bit of bleeding faith in them like you used to? Or did you think saving the world was going to be easy or something? <sighs> oh, Davy, darling. You're right. <clears throat> if a slip of a thing like me was able to get out of that tangle with Mordagon alive, then the others must have done too. And here I am feeling sorry for myself instead of getting out there and trying to find them. What would Veronica and Eric say if they saw me like this? <laughs> That's more bleeding like it. It's good to have you back, me old mucker. <laughs> oh, it's good to be back, believe me. Now, enough chit-chat. It's time for action. We need to make land at the nearest port and find out just how much of a mess the doesn't world it, is doesn't in. Doesn't he already know? And once we've done that, we can make a start on fixing it. He didn't just, like, wake up on the boat, right? Sounds like a plan, Sylph. Nearest arbor to So when he already, like, know what the world is like and whatnot? I'll plot a course right away. That sounds just perfect, honey. Anchors away! Hoist the mainsail! Gondolia, here we come! <laughs> aye, aye, Captain. Alright, it's gonna be a straight up Final Fantasy VI situation, perhaps. We actually have to go around and find all our peoples and slowly rebuild our party. That's kind of cool. Uh, poor Gondolia. Odd to believe this used to be the busiest, most bustling trade in port in the old wild world, ain't it? I mean, it ain't a surprise or nothing, but when a lively place like this falls on, on hard times, well, it's just sad, that's all. My god. Uh, still no use in moping, I suppose. Come on, Sylv, so let's have a mooch round and see what the locals have got to say for it themselves, shall we? Jeez. Oh, wait, is dude behind me? Oh, okay. Kind of want to check out the world map. Well, let me look at the map. Uh, nope, I think we're stuck in here for the time being. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so now we have like alternate, or it's not alternate, but 
Everything's like changed now. We have like the sad, uh, like sombery, uh, like version of the world. Oh, God dang it! Can I just like jump down? Oh wow! Arriba! Also, it just occurred to me that hey. wait. Is the person you put in front, the person you control? It doesn't always have to be Thomas, does it? Do we have controlled like other characters this whole time? How do I get to the freaking church, man? I just want to get to the church. Why can't I climb up this? I should be able to climb up that. Arriba! Gosh, how do I get over there? I'm, apparently, I'm dumb. Oh, there's a bridge way over here. Okay. Oh, what the? Oh, the door is on this side. Oh, it's right here. Okay, Jesus. Now I'm telling you, man, navigating. Navigating is no bueno for Mr. Thomas. Okay, let's drop a save. Oh, next chapter is called Lord of the Ri uh, Rise of the Lord of Shadows. All right. Okay, so I guess next time we'll um. We'll uh, go where we're supposed to go. What does the thing say to do? Try speaking to the townspeople. I'm assuming I don't have to talk to like everybody. But uh, okay, so I guess we'll um, we'll uh, do that next time. So as always, thanks so much for watching. Uh, yeah, big episode. Yeah, I know we went over on time or whatever, but um, yeah, the cutscene was just so dang long. But uh, yeah, like big fucking uh, what do you call it? Like what's it called when like a huge event happens or whatever? A big story event or whatever happens. Uh, huge one of those, whatever that word is. Anyway, I'll shut up. That's gonna do it. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.